So we covered a lot of information, and I have um, another question that I want you to go through. And again, the reason that I'm doing this is because a lot of this, the information that we've covered today is not complex. Uh, we, you know, this, this test covers an inch uh, deep and a mile wide, so it's not overly complex, but the questions are going to be tricky. So take a minute, go through this question, and figure out what you think the right answer is. Okay, so the right answer is B, using access controls. And if we look at the question, it says, a company needs to be concerned about an asset's reliability, confidentiality, and integrity. What is used to enforce protection of integrity? Now, control A, controlling physical security, well, you know, there could be digital things uh, that affect the, the integrity. So physical security isn't enough. C talks about enforcing the rules of confidentiality, which is not integrity. Um, D is talking about logical uh, security, which is technical. You know, the, the exam actually uses, and the industry use, logical and technical interchangeably. So D just talks about technical. And remember, we have administrative, physical, and technical controls. So that's why B is the right answer, using access controls, because it actually includes A, C, and D. And that's kind of how these, this exam goes, is a lot of times there's a question or there's an answer that covers the rest of the answers. And why some people, um, think that you know they'll be they'll take the exam and they'll be there and they'll say boy there's two right answers or there's three right answers and they'll go over and over and over again but one of the answers most likely encompasses the other two answers so using access control covers physical uh, security it covers logical security and you know see we're not even talking about uh, confidentiality